How's it going guys? My name is Crow and today we're taking a look at a hidden units faction. As you can see, it's all these units right here and there are some cool looking ones. And we're doing it here on this actually really beautiful custom map. Starting with these Tesla units. I like how their faces are hidden behind these masks. And I'm guessing that's a Tesla cannon. Let's see what the Teslas do. They fire arrows of lightning and they chain lightning amongst all the units so an equal value fight seems to be a little bit too easy for these units so we're gonna step it up and add some knights to the fight now let's see if the teslas can use their chain reaction ability to defeat these guys if the knights can maybe survive and get across this bridge oh the knights are lunging in and now we're in on the tesla units say goodbye to the teslas those are pretty cool. We moved to another portion of the map to take a look at the Warhorns. I placed the Warhorns at the top thinking they'd have some cool shout ability. And down the hill, we have a little army of halflings. Let's see what the Warhorns... Whoa, okay. Nope, not a shout. They have a shotgun based ability as well as some AOE going on. The Warhorns are far more interesting than I expected, but the sheer numbers of hobbits are putting them to work. Sorry, Warhorns. Not quite strong enough to defeat an army. Maybe like the entirety of Hobbiton. Where are we going? Well, the Hobbits won, but where were we going? Up next, we have the Chakram, which I assume are going to throw those amazing looking blades as we stay here in amongst the walls of the city. The Chakrams deal 40 damage, the Halibirds deal 69 to 110, which is nice. And ooh, a 440, a 231. That is a boat on a day. Man, the chakrams are cool. They throw those blades. They're ninjas. But you know what? I think we need a new map. Now we're here at this amazing castle siege map. And the next unit we're gonna look at are the celestials, and they're kind of cute. And they're gonna go, whoa, zooming up the ramp. Whoa, they lunge quickly. And now the celestials are in there fighting against the hoplites. But for some reason, they don't have a lot of HP. Now those ballistas firing. Ah! <laughs> Ah, the ballista just shot from the opposite side and destroyed a bunch of these hoplites. And there's a celestial stuck in the wall. Okay, Mr. Celestial, come this way. Come this way. We gotta get you up the ramp. Clearly, there's a person inside the celestial body. There you go. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. The blues one. Let's have a fight deeper inside the castle. Here you have the gladiator units which actually look really really good and these uh fort spears look unique i don't recall ever seeing something like this in totally accurate battle simulator let's see what the gladiators can do they leap in they've got the spear they also have a curved sword seemingly unique as well and this fight is going very well for the gladiators one gladiator is down Two of them are still alive. Nope, two gladiators are down. And we are left with gladiator versus barbarian here. Look at the armor on the gladiator. Let's get kicked in the chest. Oh no, axe in the chest. Now we're going to have a fight out here in the fields. And we've got these guys. Look at the guns. Look at the cool hats. Look at the gold accents. They're so cool. I can't remember what they're called. Hold on. Give me a second. They are called bounty hunters. And the bounty hunters have guns and they shoot big shotgun blasts of pellets as well as a harpoon-like ability. And they seem to reload fairly quickly. And the shotgun's doing a great job or we're doing a great job keeping the monks at bay. But the bounty hunters are now stuck in melee with monks. And believe me, you don't want to be stuck in melee with a bunch of monks. Not gonna have a good time. So far, it seems like these units are relatively weak compared to equal power level opponents. Now we are inside of a boxing ring. And on the left, you have the Mimic. And if you guys don't know what a Mimic is, it's an inanimate object that secretly turns into a creature, like a chest of treasure. And over here, you have the Ronin. Both of these are part of the faction. And let's see what happens. Oh, the Mimics have a sword stab ability, but the Ronins have a deflect ability and a whirlwind dash as well. Look at them go, they dash away and then they dash close. So now they're stuck here in the crowd while the mimics don't move. Now in lore, mimics can move once they reveal themselves to be creatures. They grow legs, they move, whatever. But this is an interesting take on a mimic. These poor guys 
don't move at all. But the question is, oh, actually the answer is the rodents. Now in the boxing ring, you have swamp creatures of the hidden faction and their hideous looking, as well as ballooners. Guys riding in cute little personal balloons with bombs in their hands. Do the ballooners float high enough that the swamp creatures can't get them? No, the swamp creatures lunge in and actually thoroughly defeated the bombardiers, the ballooners. What if I just toss in a few more of the bombardiers? Almost three times the point value. Can the swamp creatures destroy this many bombardiers? Or will the bombs deal enough damage to destroy the swamp creatures? And it seems the swamp creatures are completely unharmed or relatively unharmed in comparison to the bombardiers. Now we have the one-on-one -on -one fight in the boxing ring of a century. The red one is the giant. He's called uh, the Cyclops. He's got one eye, as you can see, the Cyclops with a single eye. And this creature is an Orni, which is a demon, I believe, a Japanese demon. Don't quote me on that one. Let's see who wins. They have equal point value. Oni versus Cyclops. The Oni is taking a bunch of damage, but the Cyclops has been... Wait, Cyclops is stuck. Hey, Cy Cyclops? Cyclops? I need you to come into the battlefield, please. Oh, Oni just leapt across, jumped over the ring, got into the crowd, and is now trying to fight the Cyclops who's trapped. Let's have a little rematch, shall we? I mean, hopefully somebody doesn't get trapped. That 1,000 damage by the Oni. That is crazy. And the Cyclops is trying to... Oh, a 600 from the Cyclops. Another 1,000 from the Oni. I wonder if either of them have an enrage ability to see who is getting closer and closer. We do have the effect from that giant sword with the trailing effects. And the Oni's sword is stuck in the railings. And the Cyclops is victorious. Now we are up in his castle here in the frozen wastelands. Look at the boats frozen in the river. Look at the houses. There's a house down here frozen in the snow. This map is probably one of the most detailed and interesting maps. What is this? Why is this here? There's a ladder going up to nowhere. I'm actually going to quickly search through the catacombs. Oh, look at that. There's another one of these these torches. Hold on. Am I climbing up this thing? I don't know where I am. I think I'm lost. There's a hole out and there's that there. <laughs> Another one of those torches and I'm climbing up once more. Interesting. Oh, I can climb up once more. This was not my intention. I want to go straight to the fight, but apparently I am exploring inside. Oh, look at that. There's a place for people to eat in here. There's a hole on the way out. You can climb up some more, climb up some more, and hey, we made it to the top. That was actually really cool. Look at the, look, look at the ledges over here. Sorry, I'm just geeking out about this map. Anyways, over here, this little girl, you have the Medusa, who is said to turn things into stone. And this guy here is the Crab King, the king of all the crabs. Wow, we have a lot of effects. There are snakes all over the ground. Medusa has been feared off the map, but can she actually path her way back to the top. Let's see if she's smart enough to figure it out. Come on, Medusa. Oh, oh, she's pathing. There's the Crab King. Medusa versus Crab King stuck here on this mountaintop. If giving me like a, a Gandalf versus Balrog on the mountaintop kind of vibe. Crab King getting snaked. Crab King getting struck by lightning. Medusa stuck there on the ground. How is the Crab King? Oh, hold on. There's something inside the crab. Is he the king? And that was simply his crab mount? That's a little bit unbelievable, but very cool. This map is sick. This is my favorite map so far. Look at this place. Look at this place with this battle raging on top of the battlements. And who wins? It's the Crab King. Let's have a fight down here in the snow. It's John Wick versus a mammoth rider. Will the guns do the job against the mammoth? Or will the mammoths and wow, ice breath from the mammoth rider? That seems a little bit OP because John Wick got a little bit frozen solid. In that case, I want John Wick versus Napoleon, the French leader himself. They both have guns. Napoleon summoning in a barrage from his infantry. Uh, uh, John Wick is dead again. John Wick is, is definitely dead again. What was John Wick fighting over here? What was Napoleon fighting over here? I'm sorry. This is just so good. This is a shinobi, which is nothing special. I mean, shinobis are just warriors of sorts. But this 
is Davy Jones. Look at the tentacles on his face. And his tentacles even have a sword. This what? Davy Jones just wrecked the shinobi in one shot. Well, in that case, we will do Davy Jones versus the Yeti. You know, the Yeti, the abominable snow monster. My money's on Davy Jones. That sword should do work. Ooh. Wow, 1,400 damage from the Yeti. Another 1,400 damage. Massive strikes by the Yeti. Davy Jones, all sorts of damage from all of his attacks. That sword is doing work. Davy Jones also has the anvil, and Davy Jones wins. Here we are in a beautiful, small, sleepy town, which is only fitting when you want to have a giant robot fight a movie monster. That's, that's the name. It's called the movie monster. Giant robot versus movie monster. Giant robot. Wow. Giant. Gi giant robot just wrecked the movie monster? Hold on. We need a fair fight for the movie monster. I don't know what this boat is. Apparently it's a boat, ship, movie monster versus a boat. It's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, the boat, I think the boat just won. This movie monster keeps dying. Okay, hold on. We're gonna move the line. I'm gonna move the line. Okay, I wanna, I wanna go over here. I wanna go over here to this area. Okay. <laughs> Anubis, god of mummification versus Hera, who is a goddess. Hera on her chosen champion versus Anubis, god of mummification. Here in this beautiful small town. I wonder who is stronger. My money. Wow, there's something riding that. Is that Anubis himself? That's Anubis himself right there. And Hera's riding her chosen champion. So who amongst these two gods, the Greek goddess or the Egyptian god, who's stronger? The effects continue to fly. The damage continues to be dealt here in this sleepy little town. This beautiful sleepy little town. You know, this is kind of a place you would grow up in, though it kind of looks a little bit abandoned. I mean, look how destroyed some of these houses are. Maybe this place used to be a beautiful town to live in and work in, but has since been left alone. Oh, oh, Anubis's mount has been destroyed, and it seems the Greek Hera was victorious. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the links on the screen and watch more awesome content, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.